Schottenkirk Chevrolet in Quincy and Schottenkirk Fort Madison. Tomorrow on KHQA This Morning. Losing weight can be difficult. They say diet and exercise will work, maybe some pills. Now, scientists say they may have discovered a fat gene. That's right. We'll tell you more about it. It's coming up tomorrow on KHQA This Morning. Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. Well, the Tri-States gets full-fledged football this Friday, and our second game of the week comes to us with one heck of a nice subplot, and that is the Alex Ebbing angle. Former Camp Point Central offensive line coach, current West Central Cougar head coach, his team going into Camp Point and taking on his old mentor, Brad Dixon, for the very first time should be a dandy showdown and part of a really good week. We'll talk much more about the Cougars and the Panthers coming up on Thursday. Was well, the Tri-State volleyball season rumbles to life this week, all eyes are on Quincy High, where a veteran roster and outlier pieces along the front line at the, and at the all-important tiller have the Blue Devils anxious to prove their mettle. Definitely Thursday can't come soon enough. We're anxious to be able to get out there on the court and put everything together and show other teams what we have and um, also show our fans as well as show each other what we're capable of doing. If the preseason summer slate counts for anything, then the Blue Devils should be capable of plenty. 45 and 1 over the course of the summer. Um, we played some great competition. Um, some was a little weak, but others were strong, and it definitely showed what our girls have. It's like a lot of fun like playing with these girls because we've been through it so much. We've all been playing together for quite some time now, so it's nice to see everything come together. Emphasis here on the word everything. Quincy High is most obviously well healed at setter. You know, I've been blessed over the last 12 years having outstanding setters, and Malia is just stepping in there and taking that role, and she's very anxious to get on the court and run her offense and play well, and I know she's wanting to excel because she wants to play at that next level. I kind of give her the reins she takes control. Um, we every once in a while tell her things we want her to do, but she's like, Coach, I've got it. I know what you need. I know what's going to happen, and I'm not afraid to take that next kill or do what I need to do to make the team be successful. And Malia Blakemore will not lack for options to set. Uh, and I think that other teams, when you see it's across the net, like, it's very intimidating because we all are like a big team out there. I think we have a lot to look forward to in front row, back row. Everywhere on the court, we've got great players, and everybody's strong and solid. And I think our summer season showed that, and we're just going to keep proving that as the season progresses. Um, our front line is very strong, and I'm excited because we've got a lot of height this year, and that's um, something that we always haven't always had in the past. Um, having a lefty on the, on the right side, being able to come in and run some slides and different options there. Um, with Sarah, Sarah Erke, we have uh, Lauren Schnott coming back off of a knee injury, and she's just adding all kinds of power firepower, excuse me. Um, our middles are strong as can be I'm with Allie and Jordan coming in and um, I'm looking for some help from our other outside with it being Sydney Heck or Kayla Mass to step in and put the ball on the floor. But it's exciting to watch them excel and have fun to get kill after kill. But it's also exciting to see our defense pick them up and frustrate them a little bit to where they know they have to find the floor. I think that everybody brings a different element to the team. There's a, every girl has a purpose here and everybody pushes each other, helps each other. Everybody has something that they can offer when they come out on the court. All right, do me one last favor and spell your last name just so I get it right. S-C-H-N-A-C-K. I got it. That was a joke. We used to work with yep. Lauren's mom right <laughs> here, so she didn't bite on it, so well, good for her. Yeah. Good She's stuff focused. there. Yeah. Quincy Eye opens up on Thursday. We've got volleyball, softball, and soccer for you coming up tonight. All right, thanks, Chris. We'll see you then. See you after the break. Pogue Auto Plaza is everywhere you are, on your tablet, smartphone, or laptop. Log on to PogueAutoPlaza.com right now and begin your search for luxury at Pogue Auto Plaza. Celebrity Jeopardy returns all this week with 15 of America's favorite stars, including quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Can I get my money back? Shark Tank's Mr. Wonderful. Yeah! Illusionist Penn Gillette. I'll take a bull for 200. Plus, Scandal's Bellamy Young. Whoa! That was my last good guess. The comedians Josh Gad. Yes! And CBS Sunday Morning's Mo Rocca. You can't ring in again, Mo. Celebrity Jeopardy, only on KHQA CBS. Whatever you want, whatever you need, you'll find...